What's going on? My name is Tamara and you're watching Southern Reality TV. Make sure y'all thumbs up and subscribe and comment, please. Okay. Do you girl a favor? You know, support her. But oh, one announcement before I get started. Um, my son is graduating on from pre-K on Saturday, so I'm excited about that. Woohoo! Y'all better be clapping. <laughs> but I'm happy about that. I know I'm gonna be crying because I'm such a big baby when it comes to things like that. So I can't wait, but I'm happy for him. Okay, let's get into our topics. Now a lot's been going on everywhere. You know, on TV, on Twitter, it's been things going on. Some new videos done came out. Some things have been going on. But you know, I have not been able to come on come on here and talk about it with you all. I just haven't had the time. But I'm here now, so it's better late than never. I'm going to start with basketball wise. I know I'm probably not going to be able to get every topic in one video. So I'm just going to you know, have to do maybe one or two videos. So basketball wise, they started off with Royce. Now I heard about Royce from the other YouTube videos that I subscribed to. I heard about Royce and her crime. But I didn't know it was that serious. And she came back and with the crime. They came back with the crime some more. And I was just like, okay, obviously I missed a whole lot because... This child, you would have thought she was five years old and her best friend was moving away. Like, come on now. Get over it, honey. Get over it. Then they went on to have... Went, then Royce and her dad went on to have lunch with her boyfriend, Desmond. I don't know if it was the same day, but it was, you know, they moved on to the next scene. And her dad... Basically, Desmond and her dad were like on the same point as far as Royce being very needy and always wanted to be around and kind of a, kind of a, you know, bugaboo kind of. And she just like smothers him. And she just was upset. Now, Royce, this is to you. Now, somebody go get Royce. This is to Royce. Royce, like, back up. Okay, back up off of him. Yeah, I know he's fine and he got a nice body. And he, you know, is a nice guy and you all into the love thing, but it's not there. This this should show you that he's just telling you what you want to hear. He don't want to get married because he can't even take you being in his own his his environment for a long and long period of time. So he don't want to get married, okay? So let's just back off, you know, he got that baby mama and you know that type of drama you don't need in your life. So just back off back all the way off and do your thing and you stay busy and you focus on your career we want to see that we want to see the positive voice that having that has business about herself and you know that are doing things because already the most important people of the show don't want to film with you so you have to give us something to keep us entertained now, i like you Royce. i kind of judged you when you took off all your clothes and you was grinding on your man you know because that's more of like a private thing but I'm not gonna judge you no more. I'm gonna let it go, okay? But do, come on, Royce, do your thing, girl. Okay, come on. We need to see more. We're tired of seeing all the men. We need to see, and they didn't even basketball players. Like, let's see more. Moving on for Royce. Um, I ain't talking about Evelyn because uh, y'all already know what I think about Evelyn. She ain't gonna never get married, okay? And if she do, I'd be surprised. But either way, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn, okay? Um, Tammy. Oh, Tammy. Tammy just, it, she just, she just, she just used up so much energy and it makes me tired. All the energy that she is wasting, fussing, it makes me tired. Um, Tammy just, they went, okay, they went to Tahiti. All the ladies except for Jen and Kenya. Now, I, I think Jen and Kenya are supposed to be coming. But the ladies went to, um, 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 Tahiti. And Tammy was talking about before they even left that she was going to maintain, she was going to exist, she was going to try to cope with the whole situation because she didn't like Keisha. But she was going to try to, you know, have some discipline so that the ladies could have a good time. Well, that didn't happen. She, from the time they stepped foot off the plane, she was there. She was just, eh, like, get the fuck. But if I was Keisha, I would have been like, get the fuck up off me. Like, you just, you ain't got nothing else to think about besides me. So, first of all, she tried to give a lesson in coughing and tell her how you're supposed to cough. And I don't think she really 
tuck listen well because you're supposed to cough into your elbow like this <laughs> you're not supposed to cough like this you're not supposed to cough like this because what happens is that germs get on your hand and then you start touching shit and then the germs travel so Tammy while she was trying to give that lesson she didn't give the lesson correctly so she was all upset because Keisha was coughing then she was all upset because Keisha wanted to go swim with the sharks then she was all upset because Keisha was scared to get into the water with the sharks. So she was just like really not feeling Keisha the whole time. So then after they swam with the sharks, because I'm not going to go into detail. When they, when they swam with the sharks, after they swam with the, well after Keisha and Susie swam with the sharks, they went, all the ladies went to go have drinks. And that was when it really went downhill like quickly because at first it was just like going slow down the hill and then it just did a free fall when they went and got the drinks now of all people they had Tammy up there drinking Tammy should have been the one that was banned from the bar okay because we don't want no outburst <sighs> they gave Tammy some alcohol not beer alcohol and Tammy was taking shots or whatever all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Tammy was pissed off because Keisha was talking. Now, last time I checked, when you and your girls or you and your guy friends, whoever it is, when y'all go hang out and y'all decide, let's go have drinks, it's going to be conversation. So Keisha was asking, Su um, she already knows Susie, so she was asking Shani and Evelyn some questions, trying to get to know them because she really don't know them. And Tammy was just irritated by that. And I mean, it was a lot of questions because, but that is because these women don't know how to interact with other women. They don't really know how to have conversation outside of dogging people. So the dialogue was not there. So Keisha was kind of like pulling teeth to try to get somebody to talk. So it was a little stressful, but it wasn't irritating. Like it didn't, it, Tammy did not have to go off like she did. So she completely went off talking about that, you know, something that happened five years ago that she's still holding on to. So Tammy's just going off and, you know, cussing Keisha out and saying how, you know, this, that, and the third and how don't ain't nobody going to like you. One thing she did say, it kind of stuck with me because I didn't feel the need. I, I didn't even, I don't even think I tweeted in Facebook during this show. But she did say something. She said that um, the whole the thing was about Tammy cussing her out on a situation or something. I think when they was at the dinner that time and what Keisha said to Royce and Susie about it. I don't even remember what the fight was about. Like what what the previous issue was. So I maybe mean, because I didn't see it. But um so Tammy was, you know, going back to that and she was talking about how you 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 said that you didn't you didn't that you wanted to go off on me but you didn't feel the need to because I was making a big fool out of myself. You don't know me. You need to respect my position. What position is that, Tammy? Question mark. What position is that? The position of reckless ratchetness? The position of don't know how to hold your liquor and you a grown, grown ass woman? The position of always in somebody's face? Always got your mouth open? Always trying to beat up somebody? The position of being a bully? What position is that, Tammy? Because if we're talking about positions, you are the bottom of the barrel, okay? Like, you're right down there with Royce, to be honest. To be honest. The only reason why you get in the spotlight like you is is because you're cussing folks out. And you have learned how to exist amongst Shani and Evelyn. But you are at the bottom of the barrel, Okay? If y'all was if y'all went to a costume party and y'all all decided that y'all was gonna be in one costume and like a camel or a horse or something, you would be the ass, uh, Tammy. You would be the ass. You would be in the back. So let's not forget where you have came from, okay? You really don't really have a position 
Because the only reason why you are the spotlight is because you're always going trying to go up on somebody's head. That's why. Not because you're just so intelligent and because you're just so smart and you're just so fabulous because you're not fabulous. All right. I just did not understand that. Y'all come in and let me know what y'all thought about that because I thought that was just, that kind of knocked me the fuck out. Like, I'm so, excuse my language, but it kind of knocked me out. It was like, what in the world? I, this is, I really don't understand these women now. And tell me, I'm going to tell them about you. Don't you disrespect me. I told you not to talk behind my back. Like, girl, calm down. Like, y'all not even friends. Like, she cannot come to you and talk to you about anything because you are unapproachable. And I really am, I really sit back and think, like, what does Tammy say to herself when she's at home or when she's having viewing parties or whatever they do when the show comes on on Mondays? Like, what does she say? Is she embarrassed? Because I would be embarrassed like that. I was acting like that as a grown, grown as woman. You know, like, come on. You can't control your liquor. You can't do nothing. And I really respected Tammy when she first came on the show. Because I respected the fact that she came, She did not come from a silver spoon. And even after she was married to that basketball player, she still had to struggle. I respected that fact. I respected that she had two young girls that she had to raise by herself. Because her famous basketball player, could, basketball player husband would not help her support and contribute to his children. I respected that. I, I'm going back to the real world. I respect when she had to go upside that, that dude head when he pulled them covers or it was covers of a towel off of her when she didn't have no clothes on. I respected that, Tammy. I respected. Definitely respected her when she had to go up across Evelyn head when Evelyn called her a numb motherfucking factor when she was people with her husband. I respected that. But I don't know what happened between that time and this time. But Tammy is out of control. She is a bully. And she tried the nerve to say that she's not a bully to her um anger management coach. Y'all let me know. Is it she on anger management because of probation? Or is she on anger management because of um she chose to do that? Because it ain't working. But the woman tried to tell an anger management coach that she is not a bully. No, bitch, you are a bully. You are very much a bully. That 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 is your that is your middle name, Tammy Bullen Rowland or whatever last her last name is. I don't even know Roman or whatever. She is a bully, and I'm I'm kind of appalled. You know, and me being 25 years old, looking at a woman that's 40 something years old that cannot control herself, that does not have the discipline and the structure to go out of town and 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 coexist with another woman that she's not too fond of, but she got all her other homegirls there. It's not a good look. It's really not a good look. And me and my best friend, we we disagree on that. We well, I haven't talked to him about this show, but we disagree on the Tammy thing because I don't think Tammy is great. I really think she's jealous. She has very she has bad jealous issues. She has jealousy issues. She's is evil. Like she is mean. Like she's a mean bitch. And I'm pretty sure that people that really know her think she's a wonderful person, but she's a mean bitch. And she don't have nothing going on in her life that is of any substance, obviously, that she lets things like this affect her so badly. Or maybe she do got things going on in her life, but she's just that, that type of person that carries a lot of anger inside her. So she got a lot of work to work to do. She need to just stop the show. I know she need a paycheck, but just stop the show. Stop the show for a little while and get yourself together. Because you are, you, you do not make yourself look good, Tammy. And I'm judging right now. Like, you... Like for real, like you got some issues, girl. But um, I'm done talking about them, cause they exhaust me. They really, they really make me tired. So y'all, let me know what y'all think. Like I said, thumbs up, press that like button, subscribe, and y'all comment on this video and let me know what y'all think. All right, peace.